for the boat for the men. For the women, as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 31, say to the believing woman that she should lower her gaze and guard her modesty, and display not her beauty except what appears ordinary of, and draw her veil over her bosoms, except in yes. front of her husband, father, her son, and a big list of men is given. So for the woman, basically, in the dress code, there are six criteria. Only okay. the first criteria differs. Okay. For the man, the extent is from the navel to the knee. For the woman, the complete body should be covered. The only part that can be seen are the face and the hands up to the wrist. The remaining five criteria are the same for the men and the women. The second is the clothes they wear, it should not be so tight so that it reveals the figure. The clothes should be loose. The third is it should not be so glamorous so that it attracts the opposite sex. The fourth is it should not be transparent or translucent so that you can see through it. Five is it should not resemble that of the opposite sex. And sixth, it should not resemble that of the unbelievers. So these are the six criteria for hijab mentioned in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Only the first one differs. That is the extent. I see. And for the label for the woman is the hijab she wears, that a complete body should be covered. The only part that can be seen in the face so and therefore, the therefore, therefore, let's do a man's one. Sorry? The ideal, a, a man's. Now let, let's look at sex specific dress codes. Mm -hmm. Ideally, what should a Muslim man look like when he is dressed according to Islam? 